with uh, what you have said, I can see that you've been working in the area of labor and employment, yes. and the area of uh, accommodation, and you have an open door, open door policy, and uh, uh, advocacy on behalf of the migrant women. Yes. Uh, a lot is being done, and from what you said, we are moving from one stage to the other. At a, at a particular point in time, it was um, the quest to have residency and the struggle, the challenges of deportation. Yes. And Akidua, from what you have said, and what we know, took a center, a center stage in that, in that fight and struggle. And then it came to the area of labor and employment. You are saying that even when the certificate have not been formally recognized or fully recognized, but most of these women can now assess uh, employment. Is that, is that correct? We are saying that, you know, this discrimination when we come to what job people get. Because, you know, we know that the majority of the migrants, and in particular migrant women, can access care work. Let, let's even talk the truth. Most of the, we did actually a mapping, you know, like for example, where are Africans when you come to uh, employment through my other actually organization called Wezesha, we did this mapping of the Africans in Ireland. And what we found was that most of them are very highly qualified. It's very true. The researches all over the country says that even not only the research that are carried out by Akido, it's actually by even other organizations, including uh, Irish organizations. It shows that, you know, migrants are very highly qualified, but they get jobs that don't match their qualifications. We have people in this country who have PhD, but they are working in security. We have women who have masters, they have degrees, they have everything, but they still cannot get jobs, you know, that matches their qualifications as lawyers, as accountants, as, you know, you name it, you know, they have the qualifications, but they can't get those jobs. And yet, these qualifications, it's not even the foreign qualifications that they came with from their home countries. They've actually come back here and um, studied their PhD or their master's, but still they can't find those jobs. So what I want to say is that... So what do you ascribe that to? What is, what is really the core problem there? It's discrimination. It's actually very clear. And this is something that I'm not even ashamed to say because I, I've also addressed it with the state. You know, when they come with the, the research and they say that, you know, uh, for example, the, 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 the research on 2018, which I was asked to, to respond to, that uh, in particular Africans, it's because they spent a lot of time in accommodation centers or for asylum or they have large families. That is not true. You know, the, the down thing is actually goes to discrimination. Try to apply for a job today uh, to one of the media company you work with the media. You see whether you get a response. Many people don't even get a response. You know, first they look at your name. So by the name you're knocked. Maybe where you are living or where you, you, you know you stay. You know, so you're knocked completely off uh, from that. So it's very, very difficult for a uh, migrant uh, to, to access labor market, proper labor market. So they end up getting into care where, you know, it's giving them money, it's helping them actually to improve their lifestyle and those kind of things. So that's why we, we have actually to work hard as migrant to be in levels of decision making or, or on policy where policies are made to ensure that our voices are heard. You know, and you will find that, you know, not many migrants are involved in... Uh, decision making levels you know for them to be able to bring up on what is happening i said actually uh, at the beginning that you know we work with the community of people community of migrants we know exactly what is happening on the ground so discrimination is still a huge problem in this country i'm not making it it's very well clear and evidence we just presented a whole report to the convention on elimination of all racial discrimination in geneva in December, I was representing that on behalf of the Irish human rights. I know what I'm talking about. Discrimination is a huge problem in this country. And, and that's why you, people are not advancing. And what do you think the government, you have been liaising with the government, trying to make them understand the problem. What do you think they are doing about it? I don't think they are doing enough. They are not doing actually much. If at all, maybe they are not doing anything on it. Uh, because, you know, when we have discrimination, um, for example, I also work, I work on gender issues and I've worked both with Irish women and migrant women. 
What, for example, the Irish government have come up with before is what we call affirmative actions. So if a group of people is so much discriminated, you can always come with affirmative actions to try and lift them up a little bit, you know. But we've not had that, you know. So if the government is very serious or very clear on, on, on this discrimination, they should come up with different ways. The affirmative action is one of them, but also the other ways of ensuring that, you know, employers and people who actually uh, have jobs out there and who do recruitment, that they do not discriminate. Because we also have um, the nine grounds that you cannot discriminate on, and discrimination is actually uh, ruled out in this country. People should not discriminate, regardless of where the person is coming from, you know, whether they are coming from a different country, their marital status, you know, their disab the disabled people or their aged people or their travelers. So in this case, we've not had uh, the government taking it very seriously to address this problem of discrimination, in particular discrimination of people of African descent which is very, very clear and very much on our face that it's a, it's the truth people of African descent are suffering when we come to employment. Again, that research I mentioned of 2018 made it very clear that the most affected when we come to um, accessing labor market are the people of African descent. They are very much uh, discriminated and accessing labor market has been very difficult for them.